believe it or not, your enemies actually crave your attention. They really like it when you look their way. They really like when you engage with them, even when you engage with them in a negative way, like when they pick fights with you, when they call you out on your name, when they target you, when they mock you, when they make fun of you. All of these tactics are to make you look their way and to make you engage with them so that they feel like they're getting some form of attention from you. Your enemies, it seems strange though, how they claim that they don't like you, they don't mess with you like that, they don't support you, they don't like who you are, but they'll do all these things to try to get you to look at them and give them any form of attention. They actually crave your attention. I've dealt with people who would pick fights with me. I don't even talk to them. I don't go around them. I don't care to. But you'll see that they'll put these little tactics in place. They're like little mouse traps that they will lay out for somebody like you to fall victim to. And now you have to deal with them and their antics. A lot of times I realize now that it's all insecurity. It's insecurity. Your enemies tend to be very insecure because in the end, you're a lot, you have a lot of qualities that they don't possess. You have a lot of stamina that they may not possess and you have a lot of confidence that they may be lacking. You know, They may have more money than you, more properties, more material wealth than you, but these people are still sad inside. If they were truly happy, they wouldn't attack you. If they were truly happy, they wouldn't target you, right? They would just live their best life and be on their merry way, but a lot of them don't really move like that. They, they act like they have to do something to you. They always have to say your name. They have to say something about you so that you will give them attention that they're seeking. And once again, because you have this confidence and you have this flair about you that is very attractive, you're going places, you're intelligent, you're humble, you're a go-getter. You are really the jack of all trades. There's nothing that you can't really do on this planet. And people see that you have a big vision, you have a big heart, and you're really humble with it. So when people feel like you give them that attention, they feel like they're seen, they feel like they're that, that whatever qualities you possess, they possess those qualities as well. Even though it's like, no, you know, you can't carry these people around with you all the time. They want to be able to take your shine and take something from you and at the same time be able to dismiss you and diss you whenever they feel fit, whenever they feel it's right. So these enemies are really perplexed. You know, the way they move is very strange. A lot of times it's like, you know, they'll really push this narrative that you're a bad person. You don't care about anybody. You don't do anything for anybody but they don't talk about all the times you've actually helped them. They don't talk about all the times when you've actually uplifted them. When you told them what it really was, when everybody was telling them what they just wanted to hear and you were the one they targeted, you're the one they wanted to diss. You're the one they wanted to mock in the end. A lot of your enemies want to be seen by you. They need your attention. They don't care about the attention. You would think that they're happy. Aren't you guys happy now? Don't you guys have everything you want because you move like you do? but still they're upset, they're angry about something. They'll do anything. They put a lot of shock value as well, trying to get at you, trying to go for your throat because in the end, all the stuff that they flex and all the stuff that they flaunted doesn't bring them the happiness you know, that you actually possess naturally because you're a good person, you, you move right, you have faith, you're very humble, you don't compete you know, because you know that you, you know, competition is not worth it. And a lot of them, that's what they only think about is how can they one up the next person, not how can they be better? How can they heal? You know, so understand that your enemies should be prayed for, but you don't have to deal with these individuals. You do not have to be at their will. You are free to cut them off. A lot of times they gave you the scissors. They gave you the reasons why they should not be a part of your life. The attention that you get, the attention that actually, you know, has people jaws dropping is because you're doing the right things in life. This is a type of attention that is kind of like that good attention, that good rec uh, recognition in a way where people see that you actually put your best foot forward. You're doing the best that you can. You're, be you're being real with it. You're being humble with it. You're going to attract the right, of att the right type of attention. <laughs> you're going to attract the right kind of attention when you're doing right, when you're moving right. And for the enemies that are trying to get your attention and, you know, trying to talk your name, but still trying to get you to look their way, you look the other way. You keep moving your way. You move the way that you're supposed to be. You're supposed to stay on your path and, and keep doing what you guys do. Okay, guys? So stay up.